Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mandy. Today is Thursday. <laughs> um, not my normal shopping day. Not my normal shopping day. Sorry. Um, all I've had is coffee this morning. It's almost, well, it's 10 o'clock. Um, so, I'm not at work today. I got to stay home today. We are having some new appliances delivered. I'm so excited. I'm getting a new fridge, yes. I'm getting a washer and dryer. Oh my gosh, hold please. All right, sorry, my husband called. So, I have a lot to do. I gotta clean off the top of the fridge, clean off the front of it. I don't know, probably empty it out. I really don't know. Um, I ran to town this morning. I had to return some stuff that I'd gotten from Walmart and I shopped in Walmart, which was fine. It was early, there wasn't a lot of people. And I went to Smith's. Um, it never happens, but they were marking stuff down <laughs> as I was walking around. And I was so excited, so I kind of like went through the whole store looking for stuff. Anyway, um, you won't see this probably until Saturday or Sunday because Walmart's delivery and pickup is backed up like two days. It's getting closer to the holidays. It's probably just gonna be a thing and I need to get my order in earlier. But right now, I am gonna show you what I got at Smith's. I might have a little um, Bash's haul at some point this weekend. Oh, I'm so excited to have my new refrigerator. I'll show you all the produce I got. I'm so excited to like get to like be able to see everything in there anyway. Okay, I'm gonna show you the fridge in a different video. Let's show you what I got this mess. <laughs> all right, so $74 today. I just submitted my Ibotta, my receipt to Ibotta. They're giving me $3.50 back. Um, 75 cents for the Triscuits. I think it's 50 cents um, for the crescent rolls. And I wanna say the deodorant had something back as well. Anyway, $3.50. Did I say I spent $74? I spent $74. Um, it was like 130 before I put my phone number in. So that was awesome. I'm gonna start over here with the milk. They were on sale for $1.29. I got four. Probably should have got five now that I have more room in my fridge. But anyway, I got four milks. This roll of Jimmy Dean sausage. Usually I get the hot. Uh, we're gonna have the in-laws over for Thanksgiving and I thought maybe they might prefer regular if we make something with that or we could mix hot and regular to make it not so hot. Did I say this is gonna be quick? I'm trying to go really quick. <laughs> I got so much to do, but um, I got these pork loins. The pork loins and um, tenderloins were on sale. Buy one, get one free again. This time I got to pick my own, so I got two that were very close in price, so I got, um, you know, the best deal. So buy one, get one free. I paid $20.79 for two, so about $10 a piece, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, what was the weight? So they're $4 a pound, so I, I yeah. I spent $2 a pound, $1.99. That's usually when I buy it anyway. I bought this um, peanut butter. I'm almost out and I was waiting for it to go on sale for 99 cents, but I guess we can just all dream on about that. It was $1.69, can't wait forever. The Crescent Rolls were buy one, get one free. And I also had a coupon. If you bought three, you got a dollar off. It made them like $1.99 each. Uh, really good deal. My family really likes them. Um, see what the expiration date is on there. January. So, I mean, we could save them for the holidays. I could put them in my old fridge that's going out in the garage. Although, once the kids find them, they're gone. Um, I got these body washes. They, it was a buy five, save a dollar each, I think. They ended up being 99 cents. These deodorants ended up being $1.29, and I believe I got something back on Ibotta. I got three of these powder and two of these fresh. It's a good deal for a full stick of deodorant. I'm happy with that. 
and these body washes were 99 cents. I have quite a stockpile of these, but if someday for some reason I can't afford to go to the store and get soap, I will have plenty or to share with someone else. Family size box of Triscuits. If you bought three, they were $2.99. You could also um, match them with Ritz crackers or there was something else, but Jessica and I really like the Walmart brand Triscuits and I thought what a treat, a 12 ounce box for $2.99 instead of like $5. So three of those. These three pound um, clamshells of grapes were on sale for $3.99. I like these because, well, first of all, they're like protected in there. And, um, you know, people haven't been touching them or pulling any out or anything. And they're usually, I don't really need to open it, but oh yes, they're nice and crisp. I'm so excited to wash these up and have them on the shelf of my new fridge. How many times can I say new fridge? I don't really care. <laughs> Again, same thing with these strawberries. They looked, oh my gosh, so good. They haven't looked this good since like the beginning of the summer. Um, and they smell good too. I'm really excited to eat these. I think I'm craving a little bit of fruit. This sour cream on sale for $1.29. I got two of these natural sour creams. Um, I think it's Brady Browning. I don't recall, but um, she buys this natural kind and uh, I started buying it and I really like it. Anyway, these are good until November 30th. So I got two of those and the salad kits. These salad kits, he was marking them down right in front of me. And I even like asked him, I was like, is this a dollar off or are these a dollar? And he said, nope, those are a dollar. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. I know everyone says that, but like nothing. There's nothing wrong with this. There's not one little brown speck in there that I can see in all of these. This one has a vinaigrette. I think only Clayton and I, I don't know. I think Jessica would enjoy that, but I got that. I got two of these Southwest salads. We're gonna be eating some salads this weekend. All right, also this little guy was on the clearance rack for $1.10. Um, when I used to make pickles a very long time ago, I used to put whole mustard seeds in them. I'm not making pickles right now, but I mean, good to have for next year. And that's it. I gotta go. Did I mention I'm getting a new fridge? <laughs> I'm so excited. We have never bought a new fridge. We've always had, you know, something used. Okay, I'll be back with whatever other hauls I have. This is going to be oh, $82.65 was how much all of this cost, plus a case of water. The case of water was supposed to be free, but, you know, they like to charge me for it anyway. It's so annoying. All right, so I'll go back again this weekend. I'll probably just get another one. I don't know. Gosh, though, $5.99? Six dollars for a case of water. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got my turkey. Um, I'm not going to be one of those people that like tells you I heard there was a shortage, but I did hear there was an outbreak, um, and they had to get rid of a lot of turkeys. So 
I got mine early. This is a 15.59 pound turkey. I think it was $1.25 a pound. Um, I don't know that I've had this brand before. Ranch Raised Turkeys. I don't know. It was $20. At least I'm prepared and I have a turkey and we can have Thanksgiving and we're good to go. <laughs> I got these pretzels back here. These are just little 10 ounce bags. They were on sale for $1.25. I got those to put in um, Caitlin's lunches. I got this red bell pepper. It was 88 cents. This was the only firm one there was to be had. So I only got one. Wesley's going to the batting cages today. He just asked for a fruit punch body armor. I got him that. And it is grilling season, I feel like, all year long for us. So there was some meat on sale. Um, we've been cooking tri-tips almost every weekend. So I just went ahead and grabbed it so I don't have to go back to the store. This was oh, $8.49. Uh, it's it's a good size tri-tip though. What is it? Almost three pounds. It is what it is. We enjoy barbecuing them and having them, so I got it. The chicken was on sale. Limit two, of course. Look at that. A dollar ninety-seven a pound. I'll probably go back and get two more <laughs> later this weekend, but dollar ninety-seven for chicken breast. I was Happy to pay that, because isn't it like, yeah, at Walmart it's $2.98, I think. So, yes, please. I am completely out of chicken. This is already frozen, so I can't thaw it and separate it and then freeze it again, but um, that's okay. We'll figure it out. And the ground beef. It was $2.97 for the 85%, so I got one package almost three pounds i will split that up into two or we'll just make a big meatloaf or we'll make hamburgers or something i don't know but eight dollars and 85 cents for that another expensive haul but i got lots of meat got my turkey for thanksgiving um gosh i think you got the turkey the stuffing the cranberry sauce there's really not too much more that i have to get except for like dessert stuff and some other sides. I got the spinach dip seasoning. Awesome. Okay, so this is it for now. I am going to run to Safeway at some point. They have yogurt on sale and I need some more club soda. And then it will be Walmart. All right, I'm back with Safeway. This was about $45. I got the sodas again. Um, Three for twelve eighty seven, I believe. Not the best deal, but better than seven ninety nine a twelve pack. I got this um, gallon of water. Our we um, did get our new fridge, but it needs a water line connector or something behind it before we can. Um, use the water dispenser on the front and instead of filling up a five gallon jug, I just decided to get this for today. Um, my husband's actually gonna go look for the part on his way home. This Bluebell ice cream is melting. Um, I got it. It was on sale for $5 today. I love the Bluebell. It's very, very good. Caitlin wanted to try a coconut. It was $2.99 and we also got this dragon fruit Jessica had brought in one home one time and let everyone try it. And Caitlin said she loved it. So she got that. I think it was, let's see here. It was $5 for that thing. $5. Hey, it's the best food ever. The cheese was on sale for 97 cents. It was a limit of two. I got Colby Jack slices and provolone slices. And then I used my... Um, daughter's card. I got a pepper jack and a mild cheddar. I got these Michelinas, um, pizza rolls. I just need some easy things in the freezer that the kids can get for lunch or else they just, you know, 
there's nothing to eat. You guys know how it is. So I got these, they were $3.99. And this is a, let's see, I don't know what size bag this is. Let's see, 20 ounce bag, just over a pound. I got those. The yogurts, they were on sale for 39 cents a piece. So awesome. And I also had another, um, I think it was 50 cents off of five or something. I think I spent like $2 for all of these. No, let's see here. Two, three, three for all of these yogurts. Um, most of them are vanilla. I did have to get a couple light because they were out of everything. I got some light peach and I think I got one like strawberry cheesecake or something right here strawberry cheesecake most of my kids just like vanilla so I got those let's see when they expire best buy oh December nice so they were out of club sodas usually I buy the 12 packs they're out. Um, I want to say they were out one of the last times I went too. I don't know. People are buying all the club soda. These were supposed to be five. No, they were. They were five for five dollars. I just got three. I don't even know if my husband would like it out of a can. You, I mean like not in a can, in a bottle instead of a can. But I got those. I will put them in the fridge in the garage and he can have them if he wants. Sometimes he likes to take them in his lunch. Um, Caitlin loves trying all the different Mountain Dew flavors. This is the Mountain Dew Spark Raspberry Lemonade. So she got that. She went with me, so she got a couple of <laughs> fun items for herself. All right, that is it. Oh my gosh, we gotta get the ice cream in the freezer. That is it for Safeway. I will be back with Walmart. All right, so I thought I would share my meal plan with you. Um, <laughs> I actually erased the date. I was going to do one week and then since I cleaned out my fridge and freezers and everything, I just have so much stuff that I did two weeks of dinners. Um, I'll still go shopping next week, but hopefully it'll just be fresh stuff um, and sale items because as we get closer to the holidays, there's just more and more that goes on sale and I would like to have it at a sale price instead of paying full price. So. Anyway, today is actually Sunday the 23rd. On Friday, um, Friday. <laughs> what did we have Friday? Oh, we had hamburgers. Um, yesterday it was Saturday, and I actually had a, um, what was it? A London broil in the fridge defrosted because someone was going to use it for something and didn't. So I just chopped it up and that was a crock pot meal. I did a crock pot like mm, beef stew or yeah, it was like a stew. It wasn't really soupy. It was a stew. Beef stew. Anyway, tonight we are going to have brats for sure. I'm going to take those out of the freezer right now. And so I'll just do like both of these days at the same time. So this week for Monday, we're gonna do meatball sandwiches, and I thought I'd just like stick with the sandwich theme. So next Monday, we will have Mississippi pot roast sandwiches. I'll just have to get the buns for that. Tuesday's gonna be chicken. So this Tuesday's gonna be chicken curry over rice. And next Tuesday will be blackened chicken Alfredo. That is something new, um, sounds really good. This Wednesday, we will be having meatloaf. And next Wednesday, we'll just be having um, ground beef patties with gravy over mashed potatoes. I'll have to get potatoes for that. And Thursday's going to be super easy. This Thursday's going to be just chili dogs. Next Thursday is going to be um, grilled chicken sandwiches. And I just like wrote down on the weekend like stuff I had that we could make if we wanted to. So I have pork loins, I have chicken wings. I have a tri-tip, I have pork loin chops, I have everything I need for like any kind of a spaghetti, taco spaghetti, 
um, regular spaghetti, baked spaghetti, whatever. I have all that Italians. I have, um, oh, you guys haven't seen that yet. But coming up next is my Walmart haul and I have a bunch of Italian sausage. All right, so that's it for the meal plan. Next will be the Walmart haul. All right, and I am back with the Walmart portion of this video. This will be the last haul. Um, there was a couple of hiccups in this haul and I'm not really sure what happened. They were completely out of eggs, didn't substitute anything. Um, they didn't have chili. Do you remember what else? They were out of some crackers and I feel like there was one other thing they were completely out of, but Oh, that's right, some feminine products. All right, let's just get started. I ordered, I don't remember ordering four, but I got four of these bow tie pastas. I got these French style green beans. I just got the four pack. We make um, green bean casserole at Thanksgiving, so I wanted to make sure I had those. I got another, what is this, five pounds? Five pound bag of unbleached flour. I got two of those packages of garlic bread. I was gonna get the um, Great Value breadsticks, but this just seems like more, like it goes further. So I got that. I got some some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I was gonna make chocolate chip cookies, but no eggs. And we actually stopped today in town to get some eggs at our local store and uh, a package of eggs was over $7 and we kind of looked at each other and was like, nope. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do about eggs. I'm going to keep looking. I ordered a two pound package of thin spaghetti. They substituted it for two one pound packages, which is fine. I got these little snack bags. Um, sometimes I just need a small one and Caitlin had asked for some smaller ones also for her lunches. I ordered two of these, everything, seasoned crackers. They only had one, I guess, which is fine. I got those Raspberry Nature um, Bakery Fig Bars. Those are delicious. I still have lots of granola bars from last week. Got some canola oil. I just refill my smaller bottle in the pantry with that. I got more of these cheese dip and breadsticks for lunches. Uh, my husband, well, Clayton and I just fermented some of my habanero peppers out of the garden and made hot sauce, and we needed a fine mesh strainer, so we picked that one up. I got some more onions. I'm out. I got four bananas, um, more Cosmic Crisp apples, two English cucumbers. These are still 98 cents a piece, which is awesome. Flour tortillas, the burrito size, still $1.98. I ordered the little box of the Velveeta cheese pouches and they substituted it for this um, 16 ounce block of Velveeta cheese. I actually think I got more and I think the price was very comparable. For bread, I got these soft French rolls. We're gonna have some meatball sandwiches. I got a loaf of this Sara Lee white bread and this great value sourdough bread. This is pretty good. We got more of this rotisserie chicken seasoning. We were almost out and we use it very often. I got these thinking I was out, but I still have a can. So now I have a backup. I got the lightly salted restaurant style tortilla chips. I have some leftover homemade salsa in the fridge I want to use. I got this Hormel chili with no beans so that we could have some chili dogs. I just got this random can of mini raviolis just in case someone wanted it for lunch. Um, I didn't have a lot of lunch stuff and um, having the new fridge, I just wanted to have some convenience items in there. So I got this, um, well, this is not lunch stuff, but I did get this barbecue sauce, we were out. I got these chicken strips. I got these great value pepperoni and cheese, um, like hot pocket and this ham and cheese. Sometimes Clayton likes these for breakfast. I'll just finish over there. I got some almond milk that is unsweetened vanilla, I believe. Yes, it says vanilla right there. I got some pickles. It's a nice snack. Um, and we were out of Parmesan cheese. 
I also am down to one bag of frozen cauliflower and that's the only frozen vegetables I have in my freezer. So when I, when I switched everything over to the new freezer, well, the new fridge and freezer, I noticed that I had no frozen vegetables. So I got two bags of peas, two bags of peas and carrots, two bags of Brussels sprouts. Caitlin likes to make smoothies. So I got her some strawberries and bananas. Um, I got some cream cheese. These are skeleton rib bones. These are just beef rib bones for the dog. I got this gum for the kids to take to school. I just got two bean and cheese burritos, two beef and green chili burritos just to throw in the freezer for a quick lunch for someone. I got these bun length franks. You know this big 24 count package is only $4. I thought that was a really good deal and I split this up in like three different packages and freeze them. So that's nice. Got some meatballs for the meatball sandwiches. I didn't realize I got such a small bag, but there's plenty in there for that. Now, this is where I was confused. <laughs> I, at the last minute, ordered one of these um, mild ground Italian sausage, and I ended up with three. I also had two packages of bacon in my cart and ended up taking one out and just um, ordering one package and ended up with three. And all of this was on my total. My total was like $30 more than what it originally was. I don't know. I will be contacting them about that because that is expensive. But so I think altogether it was $183. I will add that to the other... Um, grocery hauls that I did. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Anyway, the ones you just saw and I will leave a total right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys should be seeing this uh, Sunday morning. I should get it edited today and out tomorrow morning. I hope you guys had a great weekend and you have a very blessed week. I will see you in the next one. Bye.